what do you make of the performance? Um, first off, we were good. We controlled the game. Some of the football we played was excellent. Got the goal. Uh, second half in patches, we played well. I thought we were a bit wasted in the final third in the second half. And you know, we really should have killed that game off. And at one 0 as everybody knows, is always a set play or a moment uh, away from from costing yourself two points. But listen, we've controlled the game for, for practically the whole game. Um, but I just felt in that final third, we were just a little bit slack tonight, and uh, we could have produced more. But listen, it's a good another good three points for us, and you know it keeps the run going. And like I said before the game, I felt this was so important today because you go next week without a league game, going into the Christmas period, and the three points was crucial. Now today's we moved us up to fourth in the league table as well. Climbing the league, you must be pleased with that. Yeah, exactly. We're on a good run. Um, you know, I'm pleased with the lads. We've had a difficult couple of days with a COVID outbreak. Um, in the club yesterday, got, uh, Dior got tested positive. Um, the test came back this morning. The lads travelled in with him, weren't available. You know, there was all a bit of nervousness around the place because everyone had to have a, a lateral flow test today. Um, but we dealt with that well. A few players out, a couple of players out suspended. You know, we're a little bit weaker tonight than what we normally have to choose from. Uh, but I thought, in general, the football we played was good. Um, just to step away from today's game, you mentioned the COVID outbreak there. How is it from a manager's perspective on a match day when you get that sort of news? And how does it affect preparations for yourself and the team? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a nervous kind of time because the deal got had symptoms yesterday. His lateral flow test was positive. He then um, had his had his test, which came back today. Dave Jones and Dev who travel in with him then were available. Um, so yeah. I think every manager is dealing with it at the moment and you know it gives us a chance now to, to clear the building for a few days and, and get everybody out, get the ground cleaned and make sure that we're ready when we come back in training and hopefully we've got away with just the one case. Now Jordan's goal was superb, superb free kick and strike from him. Shows the threat that he has from the dead ball situation, doesn't it? Yeah, Jordan, you know, he's dangerous, uh, free kicks, set plays. In around the box, and I thought our set play delivery first half was disappointing tonight. Too many went into the keeper's hands, and we need to look at that because um, it has been very good of late, and we've got a lot of goals on those situations. But yeah, Jordan's you know he's a good player, and you know he's he loves playing for the club, and um, you know that'll you know, be a big boost for him tonight to get the winner. Now you mentioned it was important three points going into a week where there's no league action. We're playing the FA Trophy against Gloucester. What's the situation with the FA Trophy game? Can we expect a few changes to the side at all? Um, well, we just have a think about it during the week and um, you know, pick the team we feel is right to win the game because you know we want to make sure we, we progress. You know, it is a nice little breather from the league, uh, but equally, you know, we'll be taking the game seriously and you know we'll be picking the team we can feel can, can progress in the competition. Nice one, Cheers, Thank you.